Single one ankle, take one, single one ankle, take one. <laughs> Today at Chad's Day was Sean Willenham, Hannah Norris, and Stephanie Rodriguez with the local weather. Hello. Sean Williams. And I'm Hannah Norris. Hope you're having a good day. Have you noticed a lot of people are out sick this week? I have noticed. It's been weird. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I think there might be a common cold going around. Yeah, I've heard ragweed's pretty bad. It's like pollen-ish, so I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Here's some things you won't want to miss coming up on campus. Seven terms are ending after next week, so you likely have some exams coming up. It's a good time to check, out, check in on all the remaining assignments that you may have on eLearn. And also, check your campus email so that you don't miss out on any important information about classes. Enjoy the week of October 3rd off for fall break, and then we're right back at it on October 10th. Chattanooga State will host a highly anticipated 7th annual Latin Festival on Saturday, October 1st from 10, PM, from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. The free event will be held on the main campus. Chattanooga State's Latin Festival serves to honor and recognize the American Latino community during Hispanic Heritage Month. The free open house styled event will be focusing on the welcoming, growing Hispanic population at Chattanooga State. So I'm actually looking forward to this. Yeah, I'll have to check it out. Yeah. Sounds fun. Hey, Stephanie, can you tell us what to expect from the weather this week? Of course. So here we see Today in downtown Chattanooga, it's a lovely day. A uh, few clouds, overall good day to take your family out on a walk or however you desire. <laughs> and today as well, it is 76 degrees. Um, overall, pretty good day with humidity being 79% and winds calm as well. Um, Chattanooga being 76 degrees, uh, Dalton area 71. We're all in the 70s this week. As we see here as well, uh, all the south area, um, 70s, and Miami here still in the 80s. <laughs> and this week is still going to be decently hot as the first day of fall is coming up on Thursday. Um, still seems like it's going to be summer, but with the, the low being 54 degrees. and on uh, Sunday and Monday, we have a few chance of rainfall, but other than that, overall pretty good forecast. Adnan Syed is a newly out person uh, after a judge vacated his murder conviction yesterday. He was the subject of the first season of the hit podcast Serial, and it's releasing a bonus episode on the case today. If you haven't heard of the show, you might be wondering what's the big deal. Amy Kylie explains. Global Telling, prepaid call from if you perked up at that music, you're probably a fan of the podcast Serial. If not, you might be wondering why the Adnan Syed case is getting so much attention. We're not yet declaring, not yet declaring Adnan Syed is innocent, but we are declaring that in the interest of fairness and justice, he is entitled to a new trial. Syed was convicted of killing his one-time girlfriend, Heyman Lee, in 1999. They were in high school at the time. Syed was sentenced to life in prison, but has always maintained he's innocent. Serial's first season left many fans wondering if he'd gotten a fair trial. Baltimore prosecutors investigated, and last week they moved to vacate his conviction. They cited unreliable cell phone tower data used as evidence, advances in DNA testing, and information about other suspects the defense never received. When prosecutors do not do their duty, when they do not disclose evidence as they are supposed to, the result can be that innocent people like Adnan lose decades of their lives for crimes they did not commit. Yesterday, a judge vacated Syed's conviction and released him with an ankle monitor. During that hearing, the victim's brother said this case isn't just a podcast to him. This family is interested in the pursuit of justice. They want to know more than anybody who it was that killed Heyman Lee. I'm Amy Kiley reporting. Thank you, Amy. An attorney for the victim's family member says they're considering whether to appeal prosecutors have 30 days to decide if they will pursue a new trial against Syed. Well, that's it for today at Chattanooga State. Have a great day.